another video I'm deciding today is gonna be a good day and a productive day and sometimes when I vlog it helps me stay more productive because I'm ooh, my bagel because I'm like oh I need to like have my life together if I'm like taking a video of my day you know so I got up showered I've been trying to wake up okay that's fake I don't know like why on here this is my first day trying to wake up at a more normal time because if you watched my last vlog, if you didn't, you should go watch it. But I'm starting a new job on Monday at Disney. Go watch my last vlog. Um, give you some more deets. And I guess I'll give you more deets next week when I start it. But I am starting a new job and currently I wake up at like 9, 9.30 and that's just not gonna fly. I ended up falling asleep at like 2 a.m. And normally I fall asleep at like 12.30, maybe one. So this was like a lot later um, than normal. And then I also woke up earlier. I feel good right now, but I feel like I might get tired. I'll crash at like three o'clock or something. So anyways, today I'm doing like a vlog that I'm wrapping up all my stuff for my old job and preparing for my new job. So I'll take you along. I might try to rearrange my room for a better work setup and i need to do some finish up stuff with my old job and gotta put away some laundry just like a productive all-around day so let's start with my bagel oh my god i just filmed like a five minute segment and i didn't have it recorded <laughs> okay well i'm making my bagel and i was just talking about how i was listening to um the podcast gals on the go this morning and how their episode was like really relatable today because it was about um like leaving college and like post grad post grad blues i guess i can't remember exactly what it's called but i'll like put it on the screen and it was just a good episode it was, it was pretty relatable like i feel like i'm kind of stuck right now in a weird like in between position i obviously felt kind of post grad blues last year when um, cause I graduated technically two years ago, but I obviously was back for a fifth year at Queens just taking some extra classes and like figuring out what I wanted to do with my life. So I obviously felt some there because it wasn't the same as undergrad. Like most of my friends were gone and stuff, but obviously like I still had some of my best friends with me and like still had a good time. I was still in like the place that I called home for the past like four years or whatever. So this year I feel like it really, really hit. I've been like just sad about not being at Queens and like, living two steps away from my friends and you know being like in a place that I love and know so well and like as well as combined with pandemic blues because obviously like ideally me, me moving to a new city like I want to be bopping around with my friends and like exploring and like going to bars and like living my best post-grad life blah blah, blah. so like I think the post-grad blues would be easier to overcome if I could like be out living my Toronto life, but obviously they kind of collided and I just sit in my apartment all day wishing I was still like in undergrad, but obviously I need to get over that. Um, anyways, the podcast was really good. The one host is like kind of in a similar place as me. So very relatable, not the most like actionable tips, but just nice to know like other people are feeling that way out there. I know obviously like, I could talk to my friends and like they obviously feel the same way and stuff too, but. It's just a weird world out there. Um, anyways, I'm going to 
eat my bagel and do some work and get on with my day. Okay, it is almost one o'clock and I've just been doing work. Basically my work um, today has just been uploading all my former design drives to the Google Drive of my former boss so that she can give them to her new design team um, in case they want to like go back and like work on anything. Um, I kind of am taking a forced break because my Google Drive is full and obviously I can buy more storage, but since it's like for something I'm not even gonna be using afterwards. Anyways, we'll see, but until she replies, kind of am forced to take a break. Um, and it looks like it's really sunny out and I haven't gone for like a good walk in a couple days. So I think I'm gonna do that. Um, my apartment, like one thing I don't like about it is it doesn't get a ton of natural light. We kind of like get some on this wall and like I get a little in my room in the morning. But um, yeah, I feel like I could use a little sunshine. So I think we're gonna go outside, listen to a podcast maybe. Because that's the other hard thing. Like why am I going for a walk? I have nothing like... <laughs> nowhere to walk to, no one to walk with, you know? So it's kind of hard to tell yourself to go for a walk, but like, it's nice out and I haven't been outside, so I know I should, you know? So I think I'm gonna do a podcast and maybe bring some tea with me. That'd be nice. Oh my God, and I just checked the weather and it's zero degrees out. So it's gonna be so warm. So let's go. And I'm gonna take the garbage out while I'm at it because I have to go outside anyways. Ew, and it is so full. Okay, now let's go. kind of a psycho and I have 200 sweatshirts so I have to keep them all in here this is all sorry this is like literally left over from like Christmas over here this is all sweatshirts and a few pairs of sweatpants and I don't have room for them obviously in these little drawers so this whole big trunk is filled with all my sweatshirts and sweatpants and um yeah it just chills there okay I think I'm going to try to rearrange my room the problem is that I don't have a desk. And normally that's not a problem because I just, you know, like put my computer on my lap like this and I'm like this, like, all under my blanket, like doing my work like this, you know? But I'm gonna have to like go on calls with people and like meetings and stuff. So I'm not gonna be able to look like this all the time. So I think I need a desk to make myself look a little more professional. And by desk, I just mean like some kind of setup because my room definitely does not have room for a desk. Um, so in previous years, I've used what you guys are set up on. You guys are set up on my little cube shelf right in front of my window. Um, I'll show you in a second. And I've had my de my bed close enough to that that there's like this much space in between. I put my legs down and then I have this like in fourth year you had like all my makeup and stuff there and I'd like do my makeup there. I've had like school supplies, like I've used it kind of like a desk before. So I'm thinking that'd be good. Also if it's, since it's in front of the window, like it would have good lighting. But also if I leave it there, my bed is so far away. Like I'd literally have to be like reached over like this. Obviously I can't do that. So I need to do a little rearranging. Few possible solutions. So you guys were just set up on this thing. Sorry, this corner's a disaster. Like laundry, laundry, laundry. Corner's always been a mess like ever since I moved in and I never really figured out like what to do with it. So, couple solutions. One, I switch this with this and then I have my cubby shelf here and I wouldn't have to move my bed probably. I'll just hang my legs off here. My cubby shelf would be there. Two, 
I rearranged my entire room. Like I'm moving out. Have I even said this? We're leaving in March, which is kind of a shit show because I literally feel like I just moved in. But I'm probably gonna move home for the summer just because I don't really have anyone to be roommates with till the fall because everyone else is moving home or still in school or whatever. And I don't really wanna pay Toronto rent to A, live by myself in a pandemic, B, you be in Toronto, like, I don't know if I feel like if I can be at home in Muskoka for the summer, that's for another time. But since I'm not going to be here that much longer, I'm like, should I try to rearrange my room? I'm going to think about it and get back to you. Okay, this is what I did. I didn't fully rearrange. I just moved this. I swapped this with this. Just cleared off the top of that. I don't, I don't like realistically, this is just gonna stay here till I move out, which is kind of sad, but um, whatever. Like it has the most random stuff in it. It was empty before Christmas and I filled it to bring it home. Didn't even end up bringing it home. Now has stuff in it that I'm just too lazy to take out. I don't know. This is kind of cute though. It looks like a little, nook which is actually what i was envisioning at the beginning of moving in but it ended up just like i don't know i feel like this wasn't necessarily functional but now that it's here i actually like it this needs to come down a little just because now that this is higher i don't know something about this looks weird but i'll fix that and i don't know i don't hate it i kind of feel like it maybe opens up this area of my room a little actually i don't know for sure but the reason I didn't do this in the first place was because I didn't like having this here. Like when you walked in, like you walked into like this tall little shelf thing. But now that it's like this, like I don't hate it. So let's get my laptop out and give a little test run. Okay, this also is good because I have a outlet down there so I can like have my computer charged. And obviously like having sitting on my bed and stuff like isn't ideal for long term desk usage. But like for a month, like I feel like it'll be fine. Unless I realize that I have meetings like all day, then like I don't think I could sit like this all day. But like I don't even know what my job's gonna be like yet. So we'll figure that out next week. Okay, this is me on photo booth testing my computer setup. We'll need to make my bed every day. And uh, this part isn't that cute. So maybe I just put it like this and I have this cleared off. Okay, like overall guys, I think this is cute and will do for now. Also, the goal is it one more little third round because it obviously, you know, decorating threes and I want to have like different sizes and stuff. But I still never found anything. Pretty purple sky. Guys, Locke's parents are ordering food tonight and they asked if I want to come over. So obviously I'm like, yeah. And how fun that I actually live in the same city as my boyfriend so I can just like hop over for dinner, you know? I might end up staying over there, but I just think that's fun. So I put a little makeup on, changed my sweatshirt. I'm wearing jeans for once, crazy, brave new world. And um, yeah, I'll be over there in a little. I'm also realizing, I'm like, oh, put on makeup for my boyfriend who I see like all the time. And he sees me without makeup all the time, but let me have no makeup on for a video that I'm posting to the internet for anyone ever to watch. I'll just be ugly in front of like, whoever wants to watch it but for Lachlan I'll put on makeup <laughs> he literally sees me looking like thumb like every day <laughs> also my everyday makeup is like so chill I feel like all I have on is concealer little bronzer and eyebrows that's it but it just helps you know it just helps <laughs> Also, I just edited my vlog all afternoon, and that means my vlog from like, I think it was two weeks ago now, and it's where I officially got my job. So if you haven't watched that one, go back and watch. It's kind of long. If you want to see the job stuff, it's all in the second half. But watch the whole thing. Oh God. Oh, I think my meat. 